guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm gonna to be doing a Q and A. Big thank you to my sister for letting me use her room. I'll pop a picture right here. I'm also going to be doing my daily makeup, what I do. It's not a lot, it's a bit of blush, a bit of highlight and some eyebrows and stuff. But I hope you enjoy and with no f and further no further ado with with further ado to further ado with no further ado we're just gonna get onto it. <laughs> okay, so I've got so many questions. Okay, so first one. I'm let me just trouble connecting to the internet. For help, go to the Farm and Garden Alexa app. Is Alexa. Her name's Alexa. Don't know how she got uh, triggered, but we're just gonna get on to it now, okay, Alexa? Okay. So, first question name Taylor and Earl. Age I am 19, going 20 on April 23rd. Where did I grow up? So, I grew up in Rotorua, which is where I am right now, but I was born in Hamilton, and before that, I lived in Thames. Sorry, what? And I was living there with my mum, my dad, and my mum's side. And then my sister got born and we moved to Rotorua, I believe. Or maybe we were in Rotorua. Anyways, I pretty much grew up in Rotorua. I went to all my schools here except for college, so high school. And I went to St. Kennegan College up in Auckland. I boarded for three years and now I'm still up in Auckland. And I love it. And I love the people and I love the place. But I do love Rotorua as well. So both places hold a very close part heart in my heart. Close, important place in my heart. Okay, I forgot that I was supposed to be doing like my daily makeup and stuff. So, just taking some face moisturizer. Oh, I've got to do that thing. Yeah, low lab. Popping it on and Sports played. Okay, growing up I played a lot of sports. I played touch, volleyball, hockey. I pretty much gave everything a go. I didn't get into netball until my year six, so my last year of primary, I think I was ten. And then I just liked netball a lot all the way through and here I am today. I play for Northern Mystics in the ANZ Premiership. Holla. And I love it, I love the people, I love the team, I love the staff, I love the management, I love the vibes, everything. I love wearing blue, I've worn blue in my high school, I wore blue representing Rotorua, and now for the Mystics, so there's something about blue I can't get away from. Next question, FYI, I have two Instagram accounts, or oh, what's my eye? <laughs> Just an eyeball. Okay, so I have two Instagrams. I have Taylor Earl, which is my main account, and then I have an account called Kicking Up With Tay, which is a fitness page. So if you want, you can go follow that. I basically post um, some workouts, home workouts at the moment, since we're all at home. Some motivation, a bit about my journey, my goals, what inspires me, some food, uh, and then basically just take you along with me for my whole day. So it's heaps of fun and I love doing it. So I'll leave those in the description below. Okay, carrying on with the face search. I'm now going to be taking this True Match Highlight by L'Oreal. I'm just going to pop that down my nose on my, oh my god what's this called? Is it a Cupid's bow? I think it's a Cupid's bow. And then on my chin. Why did you create your YouTube channel? Okay I'm like that wasn't a question but I thought I'd just edit it in. I made a YouTube channel because I want to share my journey with everyone. I want to give a little insight on my life, a little bit about me. I love sharing my life and I love meeting new people and I love inspiring people and motivating people just to kind of be a friend, be someone who people enjoy watching, be funny, um, come along with me on my journey, my ups, my downs and yeah just a bit about me, my journey, my life, you know. <laughs> TikTok queen. How do you stay motivated, especially during isolation with food? So I eat intuitively and as you would have seen in my other videos, I 
been eating like this for a while now. I would say during this time would be when we were playing a netball game on the weekly basis. So I'm just thinking I want to come out of this isolation period going into our games the best version of myself and as ready as I can be to perform at that level again. So that sort of motivates me to eat clean, but I do treat myself. I treat myself every single day. If I feel like something, I'll eat it. If I feel like making something, I'll make it. And it's sort of all just in moderation. Another one, tips on how to have good time management with work, uni, social life, family time, etc. So I struggled with this a lot. Uh, it wasn't My parents make fun of me, but it's cool. I would say for me it's all about balance, but I wouldn't yet say that I've found balance. I have been known to be a procrastinator, and I would still consider myself as a bit of a procrastinator, but I'm a little bit better now. I like getting things done before the due time, and I like doing things straight away, but then there are also days where I just feel not motivated as everyone does so it's sort of just a push to get there and I might have a rest day one day and then everything will be loaded on one day but I think I'm doing pretty good with friends, family, social life, uni but I guess you just have to devote your life to the things that you love doing and yeah I'm fulfilled, I'm happy, I'm positive and I'm feeling good so I think I'm doing okay but it'll be different for everyone, everyone's lives are different so yeah I think just prioritise what you need to prioritise and everything will come. What are you studying at university and are you studying part-time? So I'm studying a Bachelor of Sport and Recreation and I'm majoring in Sport and Exercise Science and I'm studying part-time in the first semester of every year. So netball season runs pre-season November to March-ish and then we go what was that? And then we go March to the end of July, start of August we have our season and then we have from August to about October where we have off and in that time there'll be Silver Fern things, World Cup things, under 21s, rep level club campaigns. So that's sort of how it runs. So I study part time in the first semester just because that's when the netball season is and we're training pretty much every day bar two so I can't really do any more than part-time then but then in the second semester when netball's kind of chilled out a little bit more I do full-time so I do four papers what is your favorite song oh. <coughs> hope I don't copyrighted for this but I'll play it for like a short while so my favorite songs I completely forgot I was supposed to be getting ready What is my favourite food? My favourite food is donuts, believe it or not. But if I was to have a meal, it would probably be butter chicken is my favourite, as well as pizza. And I do love a good fettuccine, so those are probably my favourite foods. What's your quick and easy to go breakfast? So my quick and easy to go breakfast, the words easy to go means you just grab and go. So for me it would be overnight oats. I just put oats, chia seeds, yoghurt, almond milk. If I want to add some seeds, I'd put in some almonds and pumpkin seeds. And then in the morning, I'd just chop some banana and put it on and take it with me. So I do that quite often with uni. Another thing would be just a chia pudding. So chia seeds, yogurt, almond milk, and then in the morning, pop on some banana and some coconut. Another one would just be a smoothie if you have that extra bit of time. And yeah, that's pretty much my go-to breakfast, but I have a huge breakfast because it lasts me until lunchtime. I usually don't need a snack in between breakfast and lunch, but yeah, here I've been eating a little bit less in terms of my portion size, so I've been having a snack in between breakfast and lunch. <laughs> How to not over snack? Oh, I can't answer that question right now because that's what, something I'm struggling with currently because I'm eating smaller portion sizes. I do tend to over snack but coming into this week I'm going to start having bigger meals, meals that I would usually have because 
we're doing conditioning blocks and things like that so that takes a lot of energy out of you so I'm going to need a lot of fuel in my belly and so I'm going to try bump up my portion sizes again so that I don't have to have that snack between breakfast and lunch because I think once I have that snack I'm just screwed for the whole day so fingers crossed I'll be able to answer that question on my kicking it with Tay page by the end of this week do you have a boyfriend? No! Next question. <laughs> no, I don't have a boyfriend, but I'm focusing on me at the moment. <laughs> I can't say at the moment because it's been my whole life, but yeah. Okay, next question. <laughs> Do I still work at the gym? No, I don't work at the gym anymore. I was working as a gym instructor, personal trainer, but I don't work there anymore just because netball kicked in and uni kicked in at the same time. So I sort of didn't have enough time and I didn't want to not put 100% effort into my job as I could when I was out of netball. So I stopped working at the gym to better myself, my studies and my netball. I've sort of just given up, you know, getting ready. But last thing I'd usually do is just curl my lashes. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And then I just spray myself with... My favourite holiday is Christmas. I love Christmas. Are you a dog person or a cat person? So, I thought I was a cat person. However, we just got a little puppy called Ryder. Oh, should I go get him? I'll go get him. And I think the tables have turned. I think I'm like, even. He doesn't really want to be in here. He was sleeping though. So this is Ryder. He's 12 weeks old. And I was literally looking at how old that is in a human. Let me have a look. Ryder is three. Okay, I don't really want to sleep on me because I don't really want to be quiet. Oh, big yawn, but a baby. Watch that tail hug me. Hugs, hugs, Ryder. I'm back. Guys, I was just looking through my archived stories on my Instagram and look. Eight the March. Another one was how were you recognised, how you made the Beko comp and then ANZ in terms of trials etc. So after I finished my school years you sort of get selected as you grow up and through I was going through my secondary schools phase uh, Helene Wilson the coach of the Mystics was sort of watching me as well as I guess other selectors and then they'd come to different tournaments and watch you and then basically you get contracted so there's no trials or anything they just watch you the previous year and the period where they can contract you and they watch how you play and if you, they think you could be beneficial to the team obviously it's easier if you've already been in the ANZ because the coaches are always watching you play and the selectors are always watching you play but for me it was I was super shocked to even get a call uh, around a franchise team because I was coming from school. So it's sort of just how are you play and how much potential they can see in you and Helene thankfully saw some potential in me and that's how I got the opportunity to put on the blue dress. Goals for 2020. So my goals are right here. So my first goal for 2020, which I wrote on the 2nd of January 2020, was procrastinate less. So this was the first goal for me and it's very blunt and it's straight to the point, but it's what I wanted to focus on and I have been focusing on this a lot lately. I've had a lot due and I've had a lot of meetings online and a lot of emails and I'm trying to get as much work done as I can but there's also this thing in me which knows that I needed to slow down and take things slowly so I'm focusing on this procrastination bit a lot. Number two is spend more time on myself, uh, constant check-in, self-care and self-love. So I've been very busy. I've been doing a lot of emails, uni work, netball, uh, work, everything, filming, everything sort of just bundled into one last year and the years before I never focused on self-care or self-love or checking in with myself because I wasn't at the point in my life where I needed to. I was in the boarding house, I was getting fed so super blessed and super grateful for that but it did hit me in a big wave when I first came out of school and I think 
because I didn't spend as much time on myself, I constantly got so caught up in myself because I had so much to do and I was so stressed out. But I was literally watching Natasha Oshan's YouTube video and she said that sometimes she looks up at the stars and she realizes how small she is and how she's so stressed out in her little own mind and her world that she forgets how little she is and how little her prog problems are and it sort of takes away the stress and the anxiety that she has because it kind of just puts into perspective how small she is compared to how big the universe is. My battery just died but I've been doing this I've been spending a lot of time with myself I've been journaling I've been making things to do lists so that the next day I know what I have to do and what I have to get done and I think it's just really good that I'm taking time for myself and that's why it's number two on my goals list because now that I'm incorporating it this year I feel a lot more happy less stressed with procrastinating as well it allows time for me to check in with myself and when I'm around different people and more people it just makes me even happier I can spread more positivity I can share as much as I want to which leads into my third goal which is to film as much content as I can and be honest and open and giving myself that extra time by not procrastinating and looking after myself and constantly being happy and feeling that I can motivate people and spread positive positivity and shed light uh, allows me to film more and post more and record more and just be more active so those are my three goals for 2020 and that's basically what I'm going to be focusing on this year so on that note I'm going to end this video with a big I love you all and I hope everyone stays safe if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you want to <laughs> And subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be posting a lot more I'm gonna be doing a workout video yoga video what I eat in a day a lot more of those to come up while I'm in isolation and I hope you all stay safe stay in your bubbles stay at home and I will see you in my next video I love you all bye